welcome, 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 everybody. Hey, people. Welcome to Deep Dive. Deep Dive on Love Evolve Energy. Here we are. It's Monday night. And as I mentioned this morning, I'm doing a pre recorded audio video. Audio video. Here I am. And Shemwal, right? What a week, what a day. Here we are. A couple of announcements. Um, you know who I am, Christine Marguerite, Love Evolve Energy. You can book a session with me up above if you see all that shenanigans up there. Or Go straight to my events page, Meditation for Lightworkers. Sign up now. It happens next week. And potentially this coming weekend, we shall see, is a Energy Alchemy Workshop. You just saw a little blink of that. That starts next week. The Meditation for Lightworkers also does. It may start this coming weekend, but... We'll see. Right now, I'm, as you can see, at the beach. Pretty much. It's a little bit, uh, whatever it is. So, usually in these deep dives, uh, now that they're changing the format uh, of everything, really, ah, hi, will occasionally be doing a deep dive live and that will be a special announcement but until further notice there are going to be some videos like this or some audios today was a oh gosh can you hear the lawnmower outside seriously seriously we're still semi live because uh you know it's going on (laughs) What do I want to say about that? Uh, So, later in the week I will be talking more about the workshop coming up and the meditation class series coming up. Um, And there may be some fluctuations in that. You know, it's it's beta testing and it's just big experiments for me. Uh, I've taught all of this before. However not on the format that is zoom 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 and so that's what's going to be shifting and new about that so um other announcements about those but this is in lieu of a live where you normally see my face this is just an audio with some pretty pictures and uh, i'm very much in a processing day and it looks like it could turn into a processing week uh that's what it seems like it i'm saying this because um of everything that's going on and things that i alluded to in this morning's pop-up live those will probably be happening with greater frequency because the inspiration comes and you just got to speak is how that goes. Energy-wise, uh, this is a little bit of what I spoke about in my Facebook Live on the, uh, no, in the group, not on the group, in the group, uh, Lightworkers Lab group on Facebook. I do a regular live show there. And... I was doing, uh, and my show there is Monday uh, afternoons, East Coast time, morning, late mornings, West Coast time. And uh, on my friend mentor page, Divine Design Academy, it's pretty new and it's a pretty small community. If you're a part of it, that's so awesome. If you're not, check it out. Uh, Lauren Antwifermo creates that, and I uh, do live meditations, and that's my theme there. 
um, you know, still energy geek based meditations. And really that's what deep dive is about the energy geekness of things. So what is there to unpack today? Um, somewhat more of the same. And about a month ago, perhaps when I just started this, I was speaking quite a bit about processing days. And that is when, I'll repeat it now, we are going through some kind of process, some kind of transformation, and we have some kind of big shift. Could be a breakthrough, could be new information, uh, but you're a little rocked. You're a little rocked by it. And although your uh, conscious mind may be understanding it for the most part, there are other parts of your energy system, your nervous system, and your, your deep conditioned mind that need a minute needs a minute. And so you might feel a little slow, a little um, spacey, not necessarily off, just ultra mellow, and maybe spacey, maybe for some of us, and just super tender, tender, and a tiny bit delicate. Anyway, so that's what a processing day is. It happens the day after the big shift event, news, transition, upgrade. Um, And you're just feeling it a little bit. It's distinct from light worker flu. That's a whole other thing that I spoke about last week. Uh, That is when you have severe, not severe, sometimes severe discomfort, often just discomfort, noticeable. Maybe something aches, an old uh, dis-ease or symptom reappears in full force, headaches, uh, you feel like you have the flu, something like that. A lot of that can be energy-based. It is a little bit more intense, uh, which is why we call it a flu, (laughs) fluky flu, light worker flu, Uh, that is different from a processing day. A processing day, it's, yeah, it affects you physically, but it's much more mild. And something just feels off in a way that makes you feel a little more tender, a little more sleepy, a little more... Like you're really moving slow and taking it easy, and you just need a little self-care. Granted, um, that is some of what I'm, most of what I'm going through today, processing day. Last week was huge. Um, Yesterday, which was a Sunday, was huge. And currently, we are where I am now, um, expecting thunderstorms, and I can hear them starting to boom and I see the clouds. So that's part of the uh, tropical depression I'm in. Uh, I don't mean emotional. I mean uh, air pressure. (laughs) Although um, sometimes the processing day, you might mistake it for a kind of a kind of depression and not the kind of Depression where you feel numb and disconnected and cut off. Just a little like, blech, like you don't feel like doing anything. Um, anyway, so that's part of my laying out and uh, doing this here and not going a regular live. It's uh, with the lives, for those of you that do Facebook lives or other live streams and other formats you you know the energy it takes there's a there's an energetic exchange between you or your business whatever and however you're showing up as and those who are watching 
are also participating. So there's a little bit more contact and connection. And I love it. I love it. Thinking on the fly, talking on the fly, uh, looking at how people are responding and moving into whatever evolves in the conversation based on what I'm bringing to the table in terms of teachings, insights, reports, and how other people are responding to that. Often there are questions. Um, and I love that. It helps hone and organize the information and how I'm speaking about things. Often, you know, when you're in the energy world, an energy geek, freak, techie like I am, the conversations are endless and really you pick up one thread and it's a guide down into this wormhole of in conversations and information that you could unpack and share and that kind of, that kind of thing. Um, and on that note too, so I think that was pretty clear. Uh, difference between uh, the lives and me doing a feed like this, uh, where there's a little bit more just me maintaining my little bubble over here within my sacred space and my processing day. And so that's how I chose to do it. Uh, they will happen probably with more frequency because this will turn into a podcast, maybe not this particular one. But something like this. I wanted to also mention, what was it? I feel like I need some smooth jazz behind me and not uh, the goofy music, which I love, by the way. It's, it's um, one of my favorites, and I do want to um, give Chris Collins at IndieMusicBox.com, ChrisCollinsCreative.com, a shout out uh, for creating that music. It's, I love it. It, it's, uh, he's, he's brilliant and I really like his vibe and all of that. So, uh, oh, that's what I wanted to say. If you are really craving some face to face with me, you, of course you can always book something with me and all of that is above uh, not yet in person, and you'll see on my Facebook page when you go there to look at all the information or and or to book a session that my studio time, there's a big red banner on top of them that they're, they're not happening right now because of the, the situation, which will not always be such. For now, it is suchly. So I did want to mention... If you will be missing that interaction of the live, the deep dive lives, oh God, I love them. Uh, join me on Monday afternoons over in the Lightworkers Lab, particularly this month and really all summer. They are where I will be doing a version of a combination of deep dive live Monday night smushed in with group energy holding all at once. Uh, it's the, I only have about an hour show there, maybe an hour 15. If I'm pushing it, I, I have gone. Ooh, the thunder's starting. Mm -hmm. uh, the theme this month there is, energy healing. And well, you know, that's what we've been doing in deep dives and in group energy holding. That's what we've been talking about, what we've been practicing. So some of that, it's, you know, it's going to be me and I'll, I'll be out of my processing for the most part by next Monday is when I'm there next. Uh, sometimes I'm there twice a week. Uh, if I'm subbing for somebody else, but that will all, that all happens over there. 
So what's different about Lightworkers Lab, if you go over there, the events are posted the the week of. And so uh, mine gets posted, I think, Sunday night or Monday morning for my Monday afternoon show. Be assured. And, you know, I have some limitations with how I can advertise over there. Uh, I will, if you're interested, and I probably will do this because I'm interested, <laughs> uh, post. Can you hear the thunder? So cool. Post here in Love Evolve Energy Facebook page ahead of time to remind you about my live over at the Lightworkers Lab. Yeehaw. And so I believe that's all I had to say. Uh, yet things are shifting and yet they are still happening. Uh, I have included in tonight's offering, like I said this morning, a meditation that I recorded oh, days ago. Uh, and because I am mindful about how frequently I post on YouTube, I just posted that video today on YouTube. And I will be sharing it here. It, I, if I do say so myself, if I do say so, uh, it's a really uplifting video, guided meditation. The video is a guided meditation. The theme is uh, flame and flower, angelic flame and flower. And it's very much a, a transmission guided healing session is what it is, just one technique, right? And that's why I call them guided meditations. So that is over there on YouTube. I'm posting it now with a this. Uh, and that is for your happiness and perusal. You could check out what I have over on YouTube. I just have a small handful of things there that I will grow in increments. So I hope you enjoy that. It, um, I do, the reason I say that it is this special uplifting, uh, when I record a guided meditation, I work on it a bit. It takes a minute to get some background music, to get the audio of my speaking voice the best I can. I might slum it tonight for this just to keep it more real for y'all. <laughs> uh, and to get the images for the video, all of that, you know, so I would say uh, it takes maybe a day's work to get that done. And then uh, for days afterwards, I practice with it. I use it on myself. Uh, and often before I come to recording a guided meditation, I've already used the technique for myself uh, uh, many, many times. Uh, and it keeps evolving. It's a really, it's a co-creative process between me as Christine, Christining, my I am aspect of self, and usually archangelic consciousnesses. Uh, this one is special because it was, here's something interesting. You'll get some behind the scenes special as I speak about it right now, about what goes into these videos. I will have an experience as I'm doing energy work, either with myself or on somebody I'm offering to uh, in a session. And I'll say, wow, this seems really effective. Let's try this and work with this one particular aspect. Really, you know, in a session with myself or somebody else. So I, uh, dozens of techniques are employed. 
if there's one technique that is newish that I'm like, oh, what's this? I will pluck that out and I will work with it. This, what you are getting in this uh, guided meditation that I'm posting here, the flame and flower, flower and flame, joy. I was at a very interesting point. Ooh, we just got lightning and thunder. Very exciting here. Oh. <laughs> um, my co-creative process deepened with divine source, source energy. And I shifted my perception and view of these very high dimensional, high vibrational energies that we call angels and archangelic. Gosh, I'm, my lights just flickered. I may lose electricity. Uh, nothing's hugely plugged in right now, so I think we're good. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, glad I didn't go to the beach <laughs> to watch sunset. Anyway, so I was working with angels in a particular way before. This is what you'll be hearing is the first meditation that I'm offering out to the world. First guided meditation of my new relationship with one angel in particular, and you'll probably be able to decide and ascertain what that is from listening to this meditation. And uh, when while this process was going on, it rocked my world. I was shook, and I didn't know what was what, and I was turned upside down for days, and it was a little rough. Uh, and then I saw the light, and things shifted and I was I was like you know those moments where you're whoa big lightning um <laughs> and you're just like holy fuck balls right and you're like I get it oh I see and I had to be shook because my attachment was so entrenched I couldn't see I could not see. And so that had to be shook. That had to be shook so that I could then see what the greater truth and where my path really is and was led. Anyway, so this was on the tail end after I had just come out of the shook and the light had dawned and I had on my list of meditations to meditation videos, guided meditations to create for others. Uh, this had been on my list for a while because it had been so effective for me and I had it on my list to do for last week and I, or during this period of change for me, my shook period. Uh, and I was like, how am I going to do this? I don't, whoa, another big lightning strike. It was purple, crazy. I guess that was two miles away. Sweet. Uh, how am I going to do this? How, what does this look like? That I don't believe in the same way. I don't believe these things that I have written in, in this meditation. I don't approach it the same way. Something has shifted. How am I going to do this? The essence of things was still true. And that's what, as I was talking through it and co-creating with these guides, I came to this new place with it and saw the deeper truth of these energies and this I am within myself. And hopefully you will feel that and you will be able to experience within yourself your angelicness your sourceness and your own divinity. That's really the vibration that I was heavily in and the vibration and the scaffolding for this meditation. 
So I hope you enjoy it. It's about, shoot, I don't have it in front of me, about 33 minutes long, I believe, between 30 and 33 minutes. Uh, it's pretty clean. There might be some blips. It's good enough for now. That's um, that's what that is. So that's some background on um, what it takes to make a guided meditation energy work video. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I appreciate you all and appreciate your generosity and uh, understanding processing days and how we all have them and uh, holding space for yourself as well as me to creatively express in this way that is what I can do today and where I'm at today. So it's going to be a very interesting month. I'm super excited, super, super excited and super moving even deeper still, even deeper still. I can hardly believe it. So that's the amazingness that's happening. Uh, enjoy the meditation, get quiet, get some water, change your pants, you know, the usual, the usual, and super enjoy it. Um, sign up for stuff, the workshop or the class. I'll be speaking more about that this week. Note for the class, things may be shifting with that, depending on feedback, because I, that's what I'm feeling is happening in the world. So apologies in advance for those potential changes in that. And so be it. And um, some of you have already signed up for the uh, Energy Alchemy Workshop. Thank you for that. And I'm so looking forward to that. And we will see what the topics for that will be. We will see. Okay, much love to you and blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, don't forget to breathe, people. Please breathe. Love.